Uh, one upgrade I did do was the zero tool. This one has got a spring in it. I found the stock one was snapping the edge off the cutting tools on the small cutters like the 3mm and 2mm cutters. So I upgraded to that one just to give it a bit of spring, help it out. The table, or the stand, was custom made. I had drawn that up in CAD, got an engineer shop to build it for me. I got it powder coated and installed the panels, the wheels and the feet. The feet are the original ones off the CNC machine. The wheels are caster wheels. So at the moment the machine's sitting on these and I just lift these up and the wheels touch the ground if I ever want to move it. Got rotating casters on one end and straight ones on the other end. Um, stack of wood under there. All the panels are bolted on. The control box is under here. It's normally standing up. I stuck the stickers on. I've got the main switches in there for the power. And the controller, just put it on a hook. That's a hook off the side of a pickup truck for the cover on the deck. Just cut it and modify it a little bit. Little pad there. The tools for the collets are just sitting here. That's been added. Tape measure, always to have handy. Control box is on these rails, which are rails from a full drive for the drawers in the back of a full drive. Got these from Australia from a full drive company, and comes all the way out and locks in place. You'll see two of these. This is the original one, which doesn't do anything now because the door used to open up that way, but it would hit on here. So I put it here and put this hinge on, and uh, uh, handle, and replace the hinges down the end. So you can see here that's the original one locked in place and this is the new one that you can buy those on eBay and this is the controller all nice and clean the controller cable I ran outside and put this little box on for protection and it comes out a hole here which I put a bit of rubber seal around on the sharp edges and then I've just got a little clip on there fan power cable is custom made comes up here up to here Lock that. That goes back. Now the cooling system. I have got going down through here. With the main cables going down through there to the control box. Which come down here into the side of the control box. The 
cooling is down this end. I've got a all-in-one reservoir with pump and temp display. It's got a flow meter but the flow meter doesn't go that great. Um, I may upgrade the pump at some stage. It still pumps the fluid through and never gets above about 25 I think has been the highest I've seen. Uh, the radiator is down here. Two one, uh, 120 mil fans. The radiator is a, from memory, a 40 mil thick one. This air hose is a push fitting. I've just got a little plug in it at the moment. So I can run air up to there. And it will come out here when I've got this on to blow air on the cutter. But I haven't really been using that much lately. That's why it's off. And I've just got a little rubber plug in there. Um, I might be able to show the cooling system if I go through here. Alright, this is the other side of the cooling system. I've got the radiator down there. Got the pump and tank up there. That's the box where it splits the power cables to the pump and to the power supply up there for the pump. And the yellow wire comes back to the main switches over this end of the stand and the coolant hoses go up through there For the compressor, I'm running a Stanley one. See the coolant flying in there at the moment. So the cooling system on its own power system for there and turn that on. System starts up. Home all axes. Now we've got light, which is a super bright LED, which is flexible.
USB in the top. One other upgrade I'm doing is a vacuum head for it. This is 3D printed in two pieces here. This is a PVC pipe which I've still got to adjust the fitment in here. This part will have magnets in it as well as these holes up in the top part. To have magnets and it'll go up like that and this piece here clears this bar here and I can still use the full range of the whole bed all the way up to here and out to the sides and all the way down without this hitting and there will be a bracket up around here joined on here to hold the pipe and then another bracket up here to hold the bigger hose coming down to this one and off to the vacuum system so this basically design is done I've just got to fine tune a couple of little things on it So. And it just clamps on with the clamp bolt there. Another upgrade I did was this bracket in here with this 3D printed part here to hold this because this droops down and it was kinking the hoses in here, mainly this one. And yeah, that just holds it all nice and firm. This still goes up and down fine. So it's a steel, 90 degree steel piece bolted into the original mounting holes. For the clamps, I'm still using the original ones. I've got maybe six of them. And then I brought a set of these ones. I've got one, two, five of those ones for when I'm doing big, heavy, thick stuff. Also got a couple of these brackets, 90 degree ones. Nice solid alloy. And Got these little wooden discs which help for like putting under the um, under the bolt or under that part as well to get more. Some random flat bits in there too. I've got some more of these T bolts coming should have them next week which I'm going to cut them shorter so I'll have a short set of bolts as well sometimes these get in the way of this part when it's moving around and these are sticking up 
So I'm going to cut them down and make a short set. 